Hey guys, today I wanted to come in and just do a get ready with me video slash um, do a little bit of chit chatting about basically about positivity and positive energy and manifesting things in your life that you want. So we're going to get a little woo woo today. I am drinking the Trilogy Synergy Kombucha by GT. I love it. I'm really freaked out right now because I have a mirror here that I really want to look at while I'm talking but I need to look at the camera. So I'm like, if I keep looking like this, my bad. Clearly not a pro by any stretch of the imagination. I'm at my friend's house watching my her kitties. This is Salem. Oh. I'll also describe um, the makeup that I put on. This is literally just like an everyday look. This is what I do every day before work. Um, there's literally absolutely nothing fancy about anything I do with my makeup. I used to be a makeup junkie and then I realized that I shouldn't be spending all of my money and my paychecks at Sephora so I stopped doing that and I'm just like left with whatever's left over from that time in my life. Okay before I start I had the worst experience yesterday with some kombucha. So if you don't know what kombucha is it's made out of um, a scoby Google a scoby. I think it's symbiotic colony of something organisms. I don't know. I forget what it is. But basically, you it's like a live thing and you feed it tea and sugar and then that makes kombucha. So I know that the scoby is kind of disgusting and it's like a little boogery, but I've never had this experience before. So yesterday at work, I was just taking a sip of my, my booch and then I get this long slimy booger that comes out just right into my mouth and I like slurped it up like a like a spaghetti noodle. I know this is disgusting and I I almost threw up. I, it took everything I had not to puke all over my desk and my keyboard just right then and there. So I'm like and I just like kind of slurped it up and then I just spit it right out back into the bottle and like tears are welling into my eyes. I'm so grossed out and I'm like trying so hard not to throw up. It was the worst thing ever. And I don't know what the hell. I don't know where it came from. That's never happened before when I'm drinking kombucha, but just be warned, you might get some boogers when you're drinking it. So I'm sure I just like scared everybody off from drinking it, but you've been warned. But it's great for you. So I'm gonna keep drinking it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put on my infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal Paris 24 hour foundation in gold beige beige. This is what I just put on for my base every day. Of course I do like a moisturizer with um, SPF in it first and then I go in with this and I'm going to be turning a very different color very soon and cover up all this whiteness. Man winter sucks doesn't it? Just really get in there. I have to look in the mirror because I can't do this blindly. Cover those bags, ladies. Okay. That's a fair amount of coverage. That's fine. Um, then next I just come in with a concealer. This one is L'Oreal um, True Match. I don't, oh, it's in light or medium. I usually have one of those little sponges to um, dab this in with, but freaking forgot it. So I just put it under my eyes because... The bags are real. Thank you, mom. Appreciate it. Okay, you just wanna blend that underneath your eyeballs. Try to cover up the fact that you are prematurely aging at the ripe old age of 26. Like I said, nothing fancy about my makeup. I buy usually pretty inexpensive things and I do the same thing every day. I have no special routine. I don't like highlight and contour and do all that fancy stuff. I kind of do, but it's in like a half-ass um, lazy way. So this is like kind of like a tutorial for <laughs> when you just don't really care and you don't want to spend a million dollars on makeup because that's not, you know, where you're at in life right now. Next, I just do my Bare Minerals powder in medium beige. Um, I like this because it has SPF in it. Anyway, so the topic I wanted to get into today while I'm doing this is um, positivity, basically. So the first thing is being grateful for what you have. This is so hard sometimes because we live in a world of instant gratitude. 
Um, we live in a world where everybody wants things now and they want them fast and they want, they want it all. And on social media, it's really, really hard to not want to try to keep up with the Joneses because you follow all these beautiful girls or men and you see their amazing bodies and you see that they're traveling to these gorgeous places and having everything they could ever want and buying beautiful houses and furniture and makeup. And quite frankly, at least for me, and I know it is for a ton of other people too, it's hard not to be jealous and it's hard not to want to do all those same things. I'm just gonna go in with some bronzer on my cheeks, pretending like I know what I'm fucking talking about. I just kind of, this is my version of contouring, you guys, this is it. I just do a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the cheek right there, go like that, and that's what I do, and that's, that's as fancy as we're getting. Blend it into your chin so that you can at least pretend that you are one color and not two. This is a blush. This is in Rose Doro. I'll link these below just in case. You probably don't want to buy my crappy makeup. It's fine. And then I just smile, put it on the cheeks, a little bit on the nose, and then it's done. Super fast. And then I just do a tiny bit of like an illuminator um, highlight on my cheeks and my nose. This is NYX, so it's super... It's super affordable. I just dab it on my nose. Just like a little sun-kissed glow kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know what I do. I just do it. And this is what happens. And this is how it turns out. A little bit of shimmer to the cheeks. And that side. Great. <laughs> Done. Bam. That's it. So... It's really hard living in this society sometimes and comparing yourself to other people who have all these things and they're so happy and they have all their shit together. And I fall into this category too. I totally look at people all the time on Instagram. And I'm, I'll, I'll get stuck there for hours sometimes just scrolling through feed and looking at everything people have. And it's just so toxic. Like I just, I was doing it literally this morning. I was laying in bed when I woke up and I wasted an hour of my day just scrolling through Instagram and I'll just get stuck on a girl's page and I'm like, God, her life is amazing. She has it all together. She has everything she could ever want. But in reality, they're just like us. <laughs> they have the same problems except they have more money, which is, you know, makes it a little easier to deal with their problems. But I think what we really need to focus on is being grateful for what we have right now. Because how are you supposed to manifest other things into your life if you're not grateful for what you have currently? And this is hard sometimes when you're playing the comparison game, but if you're doing that, maybe just get off your phone or delete Instagram from your phone and just try to like cleanse that shit out of your life because you don't need to be telling yourself all the time like you're not as good as everybody else. You need to be grateful for where you're at in your life and what you have and how awesome you are as a person. This is a Sephora eye primer. Um, it's just like a white slash like nude clear color. <laughs> I don't know what color it is, but I like to have this for my um, eyeshadow primer just so it doesn't rub off during the day. And I just like literally take it all over my lid and go all the way up to my, um, under my eyebrows, just like this. Just using my dirty little fingers. And then we need to clean these brows up because they're looking real skanky right now. I just use Sephora's waterproof um, retractable brow pen in Rich Chestnut. That's number three. I don't know if you can see it. But that's what I do first. And then I just kind of brush these bitches out. This is really hard doing with the mirror over there. Sorry, I might need to turn my head a bit. Then I take the other side, which is the actual color, and I outline my brows with this. And I'll kind of get closer to here so you can see. I just kind of come up from the bottom, coloring them in, and outlining. Just using like little like hair-like strokes, you know? Because I'm such a professional and I know how to put on my makeup. And I outline, oh, see? Don't color outside the lines.
I'm sure any professional makeup doers, makeup artists, <laughs> are just, just would cringe at this video. If they someone ever saw this, they're like, what the hell is she doing? She has no idea. <laughs> and it's true, I don't. I just literally do whatever I feel. Do what you feel. This is the Soap and Glory Archery Sculpting 2-in-1 Brow Set and Sculpting and Setting Brow Stuff. And it's um, in the color Brown and Out. I really like this. I just get it at Target or Walgreens. I just go in with this and just fill in my um, outline or whatever that I just made with my other pencil. Again, this is really hard to do when the mirrors look clear the heck over there. Okay, so I'm sucking at trying to talk and do this at the same time. My girlfriend always makes fun of me and says, you can't multitask to save your life. And I'm like, I know, it sucks. I know, I'm like a man or something. That wasn't sexist or anything. Anyway, so lately I've been trying to practice being grateful for what I currently have, which feels so great because Man, we have so much. Like, I've got a job. I have a roof over my head. I have a car that gets me to and from places. I have money to be able to fill my car up and to heat my house and to eat food and and basically to do all the things that I need to survive. Like, that's so much. That's so much to be grateful for right there. There are some people that literally you'll walk, you'll drive downtown and there's people sleeping on the street. But I have a warm bed to go home to every night and literally a roof over my head and clothes. It's crazy. Like you really don't think about how much we have until you sit there and think and you're like, wow. Why am I bitching about not being able to go on these trips to Bali and buying loads of new clothes and products why am I sitting here bitching about this when literally some people don't even have a place to sleep at night or ever or they're trying to figure out how the hell they're going to get their next meal so it's really really easy to get caught up in this day and age and other people's lives and like how much they have but you really need to come back to yourself and reflect and think about wow I've got so much I really need to be thankful for that and actually sit there don't have your phone, be by yourself and say thank you. Thank you for everything I have. Whether you're, you know, if you believe in God, you thank God. If you believe in the universe and whatever, you thank the universe. But thank, or, you know, if you don't believe in anything, just like say thank you out into the air. Who cares? Like just say thank you for what you have and really feel it in your heart. Be super grateful for what you have because. You never know. You never know what could happen. And we are so freaking fortunate. It's crazy to me. And it's something that's really, really hard and something that's really easy to lose sight of. But sometimes you just need to take a step back and realize how lucky you are and really, truly feel it in your heart and really say it out loud. Thank you. I'm so lucky. Thanks for allowing me to have money to be able to put gas in my car and a car and food and clothes and a warm bed and everything like those are just basic things that so many people take for granted and I really think we need to take a step back and think about those things more. Next I'm just gonna take uh this is a color from Sephora it's called Mocha Latte. It's just a super neutral like light brown color and I like um not highlighting contouring contouring. I like contouring my like between my eyebrow and my lid right here your arch. Make sure when you get some color on your brush, you tap it out like that because you're going to come in with a bunch of pigment and just like splash it all over your eyeballs and then it's going to fall all under here and then you're going to look like you went to sleep and woke up with all your makeup on. And I just come under like this, like I just do sweeping motions like a little rainbow side to side. Getting that pigment right where I want it. Yeah. See how now it's like an arch and it's not a dark color by any means. It's just like a nice neutral earthy pigment and that just, I mean that happens to work with my eye color and my hair color and everything. At least I like it. Um, but you can mess around and see what works for you but that's what I like to do. And then we'll go in with the other eye. Don't be afraid to like 
do big sweeps across your eye, especially if you're using a lighter color, because um, you're going to blend it all in the end and it'll look great, I promise. Just be careful with how much pigment you use. So if there's anything you're taking away from this video so far, it's first of all, my makeup isn't fancy, and second of all, be grateful. Just every day try to take a moment, maybe like two minutes, five minutes, sit down, be in silence, meditate on it a little bit, and just think about how lucky you are to have everything you have. Um, I think this is the first step in creating a better life for yourself and putting your mindset in a different space. Instead of putting your mindset in a space of um, lack and, oh, I don't have anything, oh, I'm not good enough, I suck, my life sucks, I'm never going to be like these people on Instagram. Instead of thinking that way, start trying to think towards like, wow, I'm really grateful for what I have right now. Thank you for that, universe. I appreciate it. Universe, whatever. Thank you. And see how it makes you feel. It feels a lot better when you're grateful than when you have a heart that's lacking, you know? I'm kind of nervous to show you this palette because it's old and like I've dropped it on the ground a few times. This is Maybelline New York The Nudes palette. Mmm, look at that crusty thing. So I usually just go in um, after, this is literally just like my everyday makeup or else I'll do something darker, but I'll go in with um, this color right here slash mixed with this one and this one. <laughs> I'll mix them all together so it's like a little bit of a lighter brown. Again, tap out that pigment. And then this brush is from Sephora. It is a large angled shadow brush. I really like it. It's kind of perfect for eyeshadow because it's stiff enough that it doesn't like flop your shadow all over the place. And then it's got an angle so you can get up under your crease. I don't know, man. I like it. So what I usually do, I'll show you from this side first, is I just come in and tap the pigment into the corner of my eye. And this just kind of gets it in place, gets all the um, loose pigment to stay put there instead of falling all over my face. And then I start, as soon as I do that, I start sweeping it across my whole lid. Again, doing those like rainbow motions. I kind of start like pulling it up under my arch, like right under where I put that first color. I'll usually come back with my first color and my first brush and I'll kind of just do a tiny bit more to blend both of those, like right here. Okay, so the second topic that I wanted to bring up um, is changing your mindset from I can't to I can. Also something very important, you guys, like I feel like changing your mindset and like starting to do tiny little things every single day in order to get to a more positive place and being happy for your life and being grateful and loving your life a lot more and loving yourself um, is changing your mindset little by little. Like it really can work. I did not used to think these things. I always used to be like, I'm not negative. I'm just a realist. And in all honesty, me being a realist was super negative and I thought everything was out to get me. Not really, but kind of. Like, I was just like, ugh, like things happen and life sucks and then you die. And that's such a fucking stupid way, excuse my French, stupid way to think about things. Like, ugh, life sucks and then you die. Like, life is hard. It's not meant to be easy. And no, it's not meant to be easy. I agree. But like, you can also change your mindset to think differently about things as opposed to being like, well, that's just life. It's hard. It sucks. It's like, no. You also have the ability to change that. And like, well, if life is sucking for you, then maybe that's a sign that you need to do something else with your life. I am so guilty of this because I'm in a job right now that like doesn't fuel my fire. Um, it's not, you know, my end goal to be in this position for the rest of my life. And I'm totally still just working there just because I'm like, okay, well, it's good experience and I need to make money somehow. But at the same time, I'm trying to work towards, okay, 
I can do something different and I need to try to do different things and I need to put myself out there and be uncomfortable and get into different situations and connect with people that I wouldn't normally connect with and try new things. And then I can get to a different job and I can do something different and I can be happy every single day when I wake up. Not that I'm not, but you know, sometimes like for a lot of people, work is work and work is, you know, what you do to make money and get to do all the things that you enjoy in life. You know, it's not like people, a lot of people don't like live to work, they work to live. And that's kind of how I feel right now. But I also have this thing inside me that's driving me and saying, I wanna wake up every morning and do what I love and be so unbelievably happy doing that that I can't even believe this is my life. And guess what? You can, you can totally do that. You just need to change your mindset. You just need to do something different. Like if you're doing the same things over and over again, clearly something's not working for you and you need to shift things around. You need to shift the way you're thinking. You need to shift what you're doing every single day and you need to try something new. And if you're in the same position as me, whether you're in a job that like doesn't fuel your soul or you're in a relationship that's not working out and you're just like, ma, whatever with, or you know, whatever it happens to be, start trying to change that. This is, it's all on you, man. Like it's all on you. You're the one who's in this position and you're the one who's not doing anything to make it better. You're just saying, I can't, I can't. It's too hard. It's too emotional. It's too much of a burden. I'm scared. I'm scared that it's not gonna work and that I'm gonna hate it. Why should I even try? Listen, again, I am with you 100%. I get it. I totally get that. I think that way all the time and I'm actively trying to shift my mindset to something different. Like, no, I can. This is my decision. This is my life. I can make these decisions that impact me in a positive way. And it doesn't have to be negative, you know? And if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to try something new and keep going. So you just have to shift your mindset from I can't to I can and I'm going to, and I will, and my life's gonna be great, and my life is great, and I'm grateful for everything I have right now. I'm just gonna sweep any extra pigment that fell under my eyes out with my um, big foundation brush. So, lastly, not lastly, second to lastly, I'm gonna go in with Kat Von D's um, Tattoo Liner. It's in Mad Max Brown. I love this stuff. I love Kat Von D's eyeliner. I also really love her um, uh, lipstick. And slowly sweep it across. So I'll do like a little cat eye look. So I'll take my liner and then like sweep a tiny line like I just did right here out towards my brows slash like maybe just towards like this midline right here. And then I'll take the tip and I'll meet that line at the very end and I'm just gonna bring it back up like that and then color it in so it's just like a little triangle little cat eye nothing crazy man that is real hard to do when I'm not looking directly into the mirror and when I'm this far away <laughs> so Hopefully you can tell, but that's my cat eye eyeliner. That's what I like to do. That's like my everyday go-to. Okay, and then lastly, I go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is my ultimate favorite mascara. Okay, and that's the final look. That's usually just my everyday routine. I'll put on some Vaseline on my lips and call it good. I really, I really need to like up my game a little bit, but for now it's fine. This is what it is. Okay, so going back to this conversation of changing your mindset and changing from I can't to I can. This is an everyday work in progress. It takes so much for me to say this to myself because basically my whole life I've just been saying, I can't, I can't, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not this enough, whatever, I'm not enough been saying that to myself my whole life so taking this your mindset to from one thing to the next is super hard it literally takes daily mental practice but I challenge you to do the same thing and try to start thinking of yourself differently and catching yourself every time you say something negative 
about you or something you're doing or something you don't like about yourself, just stop, think about it, change it into something positive and move on. Basically, be grateful for what you have and practice going from an I can't sort of mindset and attitude to I can because you truly can achieve anything that you want to achieve to a certain extent as long as you stop telling yourself that you can't. So be you, go do you, be positive, work with me on this every single day and we'll, we'll check back in a little bit. Thanks guys.